For more updates, click on subscribe and click on bell button for latest notifications. Hi friends, welcome to Tech ARK IT YouTube channel. My name is Ravi. In this video session, we are going to see that backup types. So, what are the backup types available for taking the backups? Any backups? So, what those backups and what are their advantages? Here we are going to see in this video session. So basically most of the um, engineers they are starting their career but most of their career um, in like starting from one year two three four years they may not able to understand what is exactly the full backup is and incremental backup is and differential backup is and how they are going to uh, take the backups and how they are going to plan the backups and how they are going to restore it back whenever they take a different types of backups so in this video i am going to explain that what is the backups is best for you and what is the um, things you have to take uh, in order to save your disk space or the what are the storage space for the backup whenever you are taking it to maybe considering it the disk library or maybe if you are considering to take the backup into the tape library kind of stuff like share comment and subscribe so let's start so first of all uh, if you say full backup full backup is a copy of your entire data so which means that if you have a, a data it on monday example say that a monday 10 pm so 300 gb you have so whenever you take the full backup it entire data will be taken into the uh, backup site and the 300 gb of the data will be stored into the whatever the wherever your destination is and the next one is uh, 320 gb where it comes from the so from monday to tuesday the data has been changed or uh, the data has been added to the um, existing data or maybe they have duplicated or copied whatever it is so the difference between the monday to tuesday is 20 gb but whenever you take the full backup on tuesday which is 320 gb in size so the next backup i am saying maybe on wednesday the data rate is gone changed a lot so it's going to be in a 380 gb so whenever you initiate the backup on wednesday it's 380 gb and if you initiate thursday 450 gb and uh, friday 500 gb saturday 510 gb and sunday 600 gb so in this order if you take everyday bull full backup set so what happens here so what you are doing here it is that you are going to take this duplicated data copies example say that if you take 300 gb multiple times in seven days which is going to be a two terabytes of the space you are just wasting so if you consider example say that if you are taking a backup of a file server so this full backup every day is not required to you because most of the times whenever the file server you are taking the backup what happens whatever the data which is incremented which means that which is added newly on maybe if you take the full backup on monday then the tuesday you don't need to take the entire backup again so you may have to take the incremental backup over here so that 20 gb which means that the backup is going to be very quick and it saves a lot of data so full backup for file system is every day is not that good so you can consider to take a different backup set so when the full backup every day is going to be useful so whenever you take the full backup every day example say that like here you have any databases where you have any some database to be taken into the production database taken into the consideration so you can use this type of full backups for the small set of backup 
backups so where you can directly restore that backup full backup of the database and directly attach the database and you can restore it so quickly which means like not so quickly but you can single restore can happen and single restore can help you to recover your entire data so in that case you can use the full backup so if you take the full backup advantages and disadvantages if you take the full advantage full backup it's going to be advantages that you can take only the single restore can help you to restore the entire your data you don't need to look for the multiple medias to load all the stuff but the disadvantage is that you have lot of duplicated data or lot of storage you have to maintain to in order to take the lot of full backups or the everyday full backups that and it takes a lot of time to backing up the data so that's the it is going to be con consuming a lot of resources like wherever if you want to store into the tapes it can it takes a lot of tapes to write the data or it takes a lot of time and it uses a lot of bandwidth to take this full full backup on the environment so the next one is incremental backup this incremental backup would be very very advantage if you consider the um, file server or any incremented data kind of stuff which is going to be very very helpful and so quick uh, you can take example if you take the um, what is the exact definition of the incremental so the incremental backup is in a backup set which is dependent on the previous backup data so previously backup data where it is completed example say that if you take a full backup on uh, sunday and which is 500 gb and monday incremented data is 5 gb in example so whenever you take incremental backup on monday that's going to be a 5 gb so which means that the backup is going to complete so quickly and easily and immediately so which means it does not con consume lot of bandwidth or it does not consume a lot of resources on the tape so whenever you are writing the data over there so whenever you are taking the backup on tuesday it does not take this 5 gb in consideration because the tuesday from monday to tuesday uh, in between that time what is the data has been changed example say that the data rate uh, change over here it is 10 gb on tuesday so it does not take this uh, entire data into the consideration for the backup so what are the files or the data has been changed on from monday example i take uh, monday 10 pm to tuesday 10 pm so that's going to be a 10 gb what are the data has been changed the 10 gb is going to be taken into the backup on tuesday in similar way so whatever the data change rate is there it's going to be take in as a backup like wednesday thursday friday saturday and again whenever you run sunday full backup so entire data from whenever you take the last full backup from here to here the full backup is going to be happen on sunday so this is how the incremental backup is goes on so here if you take what is the advantages so example say that the incremental backup will be considered as in a previous successful backup or the previous backup job so example say that whenever your previous job is completed on monday then the tuesday will be taken the consideration that when incremental backup job is been done the previous backup set again in the similar way last previous backup job will be uh, taken into the consideration from there what are the changes has been taken what are the changes has been made to the system those are the data that those data can be taken into the backup so this is how incremental works but here whenever you wanted to restore example say that uh, all of the sudden my data is lost on friday i wanted to restore it then what you have to do is that you have to restore the full backup set and monday incremental tuesday incremental wednesday incremental thursday incremental and friday incremental so whenever you are taking the backup it's going to be very easy and quick but whenever you are restoring back you have to restore full backup set plus all the incremental sets in order to restore every backup until the friday date 
so that's going to be a little bit painful whenever you have a lot of incremental but i suggest like um, whenever you are taking the incremental do not keep the period as long so take the maybe a three days data three uh, after three, every three days or after after every one week take one full backup so that is going to be very very helpful otherwise if you take uh, a one single full backup on one month back and if you if you are taking again full backup after one month then that's going to be a very painful whenever you are restoring it back on the system so do not take that kind of uh, approaches on incremental backup so cut over there like every week would be in a more sufficient way to take or if you consider take every um, week a two full backup that's also going to help you in that situation like whenever you come to the restoration part so here the advantage is the going backup is going to be take more quick and as fast as the incremented change rate but the change rate is going to be calculated and scan will take a lot of time to identify what are the data has been changed in the previous and current data so that's going to be a little slower whenever it is verifying the data change what is happened on previous backup set and current backup set current data so that's uh, a little bit slow but the uh, saving percent of incremental would be more like it does not consume the more storage for uh, storing the data or the incremental would be very fast and it does not consume lot of bandwidth does not consume because it's going to be a little bit uh, small data over here so take the differential so differential is always depend on the last full backup set whenever you take the last full backup set from there what are the data change rate happened it's going to take into the consideration uh, as a differential backup so example say if you take the full backup on monday and uh, if you take the uh, differential backup on tuesday example and the tuesday is going to be taken in the consideration that the tuesday backup is going to be a last full backup from example say last full backup is happened on sunday uh, midnight then sunday midnight to tuesday midnight whenever you are taking the differential backup what is the change happened at the what are the data change rate data the data has been changed that is going to be taken into the differential backup and if you are again running the backup on wednesday the differential backup again it's going to take the last full backup set as in a previous set from there example sunday midnight from from sunday midnight to wednesday midnight what is the data changed that is going to be taken into the consideration like wise it's going to consider the last full backup set as the data change from there whenever you are taking the backup until that what are the change right what are the data has been changed is going to take into the backup likewise every day what are the data has been added is going to combine all from the last full backup and it's going to take the full backup set so this way it's going to scan the file system again and again and again and again every day whenever you are taking the differential backup from the so whenever the last full backup happened from there what are the data change rate happened it's going to verify all of them and going to take the backup so this is going to be little very slow whenever it is in scanning phase like whenever it is scanning the data change rate what happened from last full backup so that takes a lot of time and a lot of bandwidth or whenever the data also taking to the backup it is also going to a lot of time because it's considering the last full backup again here if you uh, take the last full backup from example from last one month to last in between 30 days then the differential is going to be very very huge and very very slow so cut over the full backups in between so that the differential backup would be more helpful so whenever you want to restore it back so you know need to restore all of this backup sets um, you have to restore only example say i want to restore on thursday 
you have to restore last full backup set and Thursday differential. That's it. So those two backups only you can restore it and Thursday data will be back. So that's how the differential works. But whenever you are taking the backup, uh, so it takes a little slower and but here data saving is little bit more comparing to the incremental backup. Uh, comparing to the full backup, it's going to save a data uh, space on the uh, storage library. So this is how the um, data backups works like full backup, incremental backup and differential backup. The main reason between the incremental and the differential backup is that the incremental backup will consider the last previous backup set. Whenever the, the previous backup set example say Monday 10 p.m then if you are running the full back, uh, incremental on tuesday 10 pm so what is the data change that happened in between monday 10 pm to tuesday 10 pm that is going to take into the incremental so the differential is that it depends on the last full backup from last full backup when it is happened on the la la when it is the last full backup is happened from there what are the changes happened to until Tuesday 10 p.m. that is going to take into the consideration of the backup. So this is how the full backup, incremental backup and differential backup works. So uh, take your decision based on your uh, system. So whenever you are taking a large uh, system backups, so consider incremental or uh, if you are taking a, a database level backups, consider full backups maybe a, a alternate day something like that so that would be more helpful whenever you are taking a file systems or other things you can consider maybe a incremental backup or the differential backup so this this about the backups and backup types how they works the backups so in next video i'm going to explain you that what is the difference between the copy and backup let's stay tuned thanks for watching please subscribe to the channel please activate the bell button to get notified whenever the new video is uploaded thanks for watching please follow us on social networking sites if you have any technical related questions you can ask